Welcome to Astrophy's weekly show. Ever wonder what black holes are and how they are massive mass and gravity? Then watch this video till the end. A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when a star is dying. As no light passes through the black hole, it is hard to find them, but scientists can find them based on how they influence the surroundings. If they find strong pull of light in the center, gas circling around the center, or star spinning, then they start checking on it. When a black hole is close to a star, high energy light is made which cannot be seen by human eyes. Scientists use satellites, telescopes to observe high energy light. There are four types of black holes, stellar, intermediate, supermassive, and miniature. The most known way a black hole forms is by stellar death. As stars reach the end of their lives, most will inflate, lose mass, and then cool to form white dwarfs. But the largest of these fiery bodies, those at least 10 to 20 times as massive as our own sun, are destined to become either super dense neutron stars or stellar mass black holes. Black holes can swallow planets, stars, and even tear them apart depending on their size. All black holes have a point called an event horizon which varies depending on their mass. If something goes beyond the event horizon, it can never come back. Black holes are extreme in many ways, but they do not have infinite mass, and it is their mass that determines the force of their gravity. So, if objects can move around the mass of stars without falling in, same is true for black holes. Not all dying stars get chance to be a black hole. For a star to be a black hole, it needs to be 20 times the mass of the sun. This means our sun will never become a black hole just like most of the other stars in our universe. Supermassive black holes have so much mass that they cannot have been formed by a typical dying star. One idea is that they form when galaxies, with black holes at their center, collide and then those galaxies collide with other galaxies. But it is not clear that this can explain the size of today's supermassive black holes based on the time they had to form since the Big Bang. Another idea is that the original seeds for today's supermassive black holes formed from gas clouds before the formation of stars and galaxies or during the Big Bang itself. Currently, the largest known black hole TON618 has a mass of 66 billion solar masses or 20 quadrillion times the Earth's mass. The closest supermassive black hole to our Earth is Sagittarius A star and the closest stellar black hole is the unicorn. Sagittarius A is about 4 million times more massive than our Sun and about 25,000 light years away from Earth, lying in the center of our very own Milky Way galaxy. The unicorn black hole lies a mere 1,500 light years away from us and is just three times more massive than the Sun. For the first time, an international network of radio telescopes called the EHT has captured a black hole and its shadow. The stunning image shows the shadow of supermassive black hole in the center of Messier 87, an elliptical galaxy 55 million light years from Earth. This black hole is 6.5 billion times the mass of our Sun. There are a lot of myths about black holes. First one is all black holes are black. Some black holes power the brightest known objects in the universe known as quasars. As material gets close to the event horizon, it starts to speed up and heat up shining brightly until it passes through the event horizon. Now, let us answer some of your questions about black holes. How long does it take to make a black hole? A stellar mass black hole 
with a mass of tens of times the mass of the Sun, can likely form in seconds, after the collapse of a massive star. These relatively small black holes can also be made through the merger of two dense stellar remnants called neutron stars. Supermassive black holes can take less than a billion years for one to reach a very large size, but it is unknown how long it takes for them to form generally. How do scientists calculate the mass of a supermassive black hole? The research involves looking at the motions of stars in the centers of galaxies. These motions imply a dark, massive body whose mass can be computed from their speeds of the stars and their motion. Can black holes suck an entire galaxy? No, there is no way a black hole can eat an entire galaxy. The gravitational reach of supermassive black holes contained in the middle of galaxies is large, but not nearly large enough for eating the whole galaxy. What would happen if you fell into a black hole? It certainly would not be good. But what we know about the interior of black holes comes from Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. For black holes, distant observers will only see regions outside the event horizon, but individual observers falling into the black hole would experience quite another reality. If you got into the event horizon, your perception of space and time would entirely change. At the same time, the immense gravity of the black hole would compress you horizontally and stretch you vertically like a noodle, which is why scientists call this phenomenon spaghettification. Fortunately, this has never happened to anyone. Black holes are too far away to pull in any matter from our solar system, but scientists have observed black holes ripping stars apart, a process that releases a tremendous amount of energy. What if the sun turned into a black hole? The sun will never turn into a black hole because it is not massive enough to explode. Instead, the sun will become a denser stellar remnant called a white dwarf. But if, hypothetically, the sun suddenly became a black hole with the same mass as it has today, this would not affect the orbits of the planets because its gravitational influence on the solar system would be the same. So Earth would continue to revolve around the sun without getting pulled in. It is true that a stellar or supermassive black hole would be bad news if created in the proximity of our home planet, but neither are a possibility. There are no stars massive enough in our local part of the galaxy to become black holes. Even if you would somehow harness all the mass of all the objects in our solar system, you would still be far short of the amount needed to make one of these large black holes. As for microscopic black holes, we are not even sure they exist. And if they do exist, while we do not know how they would work, we do know they are not destructive. <laughs>